um, back to our server machine and now we will create a python script for the opc ua server security so i will create another file i will name it as opc server security.py so this will be our this file will contain few functions so one of the functions will be where we will be initializing a server socket um, another function will be related to where we will be setting the username and password of the server uh, another function will be related to the client authentication where we will receive the connection from the client uh, opc client and we will check whether the received username and password is correct or not so i will simp i will basically create a class for all of this and the same we will do for uh, the client as well in the later part so let's start by importing the socket and uh, you also need to import bcrypt because because we will be using this package in order to uh, generate a hash for our uh, username and password let's also import json now we'll create our opc server security class we will create a function where we will add self dot server socket this will be socket dot socket and we will create a salt so this salt is basically a hash due using which our username and password will be converted to uh, an encrypted form an encrypted hash so that normally people cannot uh, decode it so bcrypt dot generate salt now we will create another uh, function which will initialize our opc server security now this will simply contain now here we are basically uh, the, the server socket we are binding it to a particular ip address and i will bind it to the ip of my server machine for this i will simply take a variable here ip ip and port we are taking is 5000 now we will also make our server socket as listen listen to one client for now now we will also create another function where we will set the server credentials now here we, here we will take username and we will take password so basically we first need to um, encode our username and password so for that we will take password dot encode and same goes for username so we'll take user equals to username dot encode now we will create a hash uh, password and hash username which will be bcrypt dot hash password and here we will uh, pass in the password and the salt which we have previously generated salt same goes for username so bcrypt dot hash password and here we will mention the user and the salt now what I'll do is that I will create an out JSON dictionary and out JSON I will simply mention username as my server hash pass server hash uh, user dot decode out JSON 
password goes to server password dot decode in the same way we also need to save the salt which we have used to uh, generate our username and password so so that later on when the client makes a uh, connection we can use the same salt to decode our username and password so we are basically saving our username and password in a json file but this is just for the demonstration purpose you can even save the username and password somewhere in mongodb or any other sql dbs you want but just for the demonstration purpose we are saving this in in the json format i'll create a json file in the name of credentials.json so this json file will always remain in the master uh, sorry in the server machine this will not be shared with any of the client machine so what what will happen is that whenever the client will make a uh, request to the server server will basically read the data from the json file and it will match whether the client's details match with the this credentials.json file or not and if yes then it will simply authenticate otherwise false so that's why we are saving all the data in the json format but if you if you have a mongodb or any other db you can save all the data in the database as well so this is done so we have also written a function for which will basically set the server username and password now we need to make a function which will basically authenticate our client request so i'll make a client authentication and here what i'll do is that i will read the config file config file is basically our our uh, credential file so credentials dot json config data i'll simply load the json and config file dot close here i will take a variable is client authenticated which i will make it as false or true later on based on the conditions now here i will basically print waiting for waiting for clients in this i will wait for here i will actually wait for um, any clients connection so i'll simply use my server socket dot accept method and once we receive we will create a while loop and we will simply take the received data from the connection from the client so receive and we are here putting a condition that we will only receive 1 0 to 4 bytes and i will decode it now we will break our received data dot split okay now let's talk about why we have written this particular line so what will happen is that let me just make a comment here so client will basically send the username password in a fixed format so the fixed fixed format will be it will be basically a string which will be something like this so for example username and password so client will send the username and password to the server in this particular format so because because of this we are basically splitting so that we have the username as a first variable and the password as a another variable so basically what we'll do here is that user equals to receive data zero and password equals to receive data one so after splitting the first part the zeroth item zeroth item of the received data will be our user and the first item of the received data will be our password that's why we split the received data which we received now once we have the username and password from uh, the client we will simply encode them 
so I'll create a password variable password dot encode and here I'll write utm8 in the same way username equals to password dot encode 8 after this again um, what I'll do is that I will the salt which I have saved in my credential file I will read that salt so I'll take one variable as saved salt and I'll take config data and here I'll make salt and I will encode it Now once we have the salt, once we have the username and password, looks like I've done a mistake here. This will be user. So once we have the username and the password and the salt, we will simply decode our uh, username and password. So I'll take, I'll make hash password, which will be bcrypt dot hash password. This will be password and the saved salt. And I will simply decode it in the same way I will create another variable for hash user which will be bcrypt dot hash password so here it will be username and I will pass it through save salt and we are basically decoding it so decode now once we have decoded the username and password which we received from the client we just simply need to check if we have if it is matching with what the server has created so I will simply put if hashed password or hashed user is equals to equals to config data username and hashed password is equals to equals to config data password if this matches we will simply send connection dot send so we will send success to the client and we will make is client authenticated as true else if it is it do not matches then we will simply send connection dot send failure so we will send failure to our client and we will make is client authenticated as false and we will break it break from this loop I also need to put break here so we will break from the loop so at the end what we are going to do is at the end of the while loop we will check if is client authenticated is true what we'll do is we'll simply mass print a message that server access granted which means that client has been granted the server access and we will simply return true from this function else we will simply print server access denied which means the server has denied the access of client and we will simply return false from this so we have pretty much covered everything we have written the code for our opc server security layer uh, what this do does is so we have created four functions this is the initialize function this will initialize this will initialize our OPC server security which will basically create the socket server socket um, using this function we will set the username and password we want for our server and using this function we will authenticate all the connections we get from the client so this is done we now need to modify our server code so that it implies all the functions from the security uh, code